Hello, Super Nerd Friends, Haley and Alexis. Today is Friday, still, for another hour and 20 minutes. Um, although not for you. Uh, it, <laughs> it kind of bugs me when you guys wait until 11.30 or later to upload your videos, or because you know, my inter goes, internet goes off at 11, and then, like, I, I get to watch sometimes half of your video, and then the internet goes off. I'm like, no! Or I just, you know, watch it the next day. I mean, which isn't the worst thing in the world. Uh, but, and here, now here I am, um, it's gonna be uploaded, yeah. Hopefully I'll get to upload it today. Hopefully my parents won't turn the internet off. Um, anyway, good news. I am now sixth on the waitlist for, um, statics instead of seventh. So that's nice. There's a person after me as well. There are still seven people on the waitlist. Um... Yeah, so really hoping I get into that. Um, not the end of the world if I don't. There are a couple other classes um, I'm interested in. One of them is um, it's a philosophy class, but it's like um, uh, it sounds cool or something. And then there there's like a programming class online. Um, but I guess I could get by with just two classes. Um, yeah, but Bellevue College is definitely looking good. Um, Joanna and I spent the day in Seattle yesterday. Uh, you guys both know well, I sent you pictures and um, talked with Alexis when you were driving over to Las Vegas. Yay! You're in Las Vegas! Um, I hope that's going well. I uh, hope your drive went well today and wasn't too boring. I hope you didn't try to call me today. Uh, sorry, my phone's been in my, my the jeans that I wore yesterday all day. I haven't looked at my phone. Sorry. Um, yeah, I guess I can understand how driving would get boring. Um, I'm kind of looking forward to having that, you know, experience of, um, I mean, that's why I love being alone in the house so much. I mean, it gets boring after a while, but yeah, it seems nice to have a little personal bubble. Uh, when we were in Seattle, I bought five science fiction books. One of them is, um, like, the worlds of the future, the worlds of tomorrow, that's the theme for it. Uh, I started reading one of them, and it was kind of boring. It was like this guy created a person, a duplicate of himself inside the... So it was from the perspective of the other him that he put inside a... He made a computer clone of himself, basically. So I, I don't know, it's kind of... <laughs> they're from the 50s and uh, up through the 80s, so just, you know, they're $5 for five of them, so... Uh, yeah, one of them has Daleks in it, just like as an ad. Um, yes, Joanna went to the original Starbucks. She wanted to wait in that line, uh, for some reason. But, uh, we got, I got a Venti water, <laughs> which was nice. Uh, there was a really great band, uh, just outside. When Alexis and I were there, it was, um, um, a band singing um, Under the Boardwalk, which was interesting because that was the song that we'd heard on the radio just as we were leaving. Uh, we both commented on it. Um, but yeah, they had like a clarinet and a guy on a washboard and a guitar or a couple of guitars. They were really, they sounded really nice. It was kind of a improv. I don't even know the genre. It was cool. Um, but <laughs> the guy on the washboard started laughing as there was this van trying to... Um, parallel park, <laughs> and he's just watching and saying, that's the worst parallel park you've ever seen, and so I look over, it didn't even look like he was trying to parallel park, but he was, his van was very close to this nice, um, hanging basket lamppost thing, that was square. I'm like, I don't think the van is supposed to get that close, and sure enough, as it pulled away, there was an enormous dent on the, and he wasn't even going that fast, I mean, I guess he just, like, kept applying the gas pedal as he was back and just slowly smooshed his car into, so I'm like, oh no, I hope that's not gonna be me, <laughs> and then he did it again, he was, he was still trying to parallel park, and there was a guy directing him, and he just slowly smooshed his bumper again, and there was a guy standing right there, he's like, oh, you should stop now, and... Oh well. Uh, I see. I see visions of future driving endeavors. Um, might do some driving tomorrow. Haven't been doing much of that. Um, yeah, just watched uh, True Grit with uh, the parents, and Joanna watched the first half of it. Um, it was really good. It was kind of sad. Um, yeah, but Joanna and I watched Rent yesterday, 
uh, we got we got there at 10 o'clock to, um, our mom dropped us, off, dropped us off in Bellevue. Alexis knows this because I was talking with her. Um, my mom was going up to Bellingham with my grandma. And so she dropped, she didn't want us to drive us all the way to Seattle, so she dropped us off at the park and ride in Bellevue. And we were going to catch a bus, um, but my mom was a bit late, and so we missed that bus. And that was the last, it was the 212 bus, that was the last 212 that was going to Seattle. And we hadn't looked up another one because we thought we'd be there before 924, but we weren't. Um, so my dad texted us, he's like, walk over I-90, and we're like, how do we cross I-90? But, like, there was a nice little bridge and brought us to, you know, like, the other area of the park and ride. There, there was a bus stop there, and so there was a nice man who said, oh, don't, could we just miss the 554, too? Like, we were walking up, we're like, oh, there's a bus there. Oh, that was the bus we were supposed to, oops. And he looked up on his phone, he's like, it's okay, there's gonna be another one in five minutes, so. So, yeah, bus into Seattle, that was fun. Um, yeah, we just spent the day down there, um because they started selling rush tickets for people under 30 at noon um, for on-stage seating and pit seating, like they put a row of chairs in front of the first row, um, and just, you know, other random seats that didn't sell. So we were just going for a random seat that didn't sell, because they had some pretty good ones. Um, and he said, no, you can just do it right now, you don't even have to wait around here for two hours until noon. And so we were like, sweet! So we got some two nice seats, I mean, we were they were like, um, four people between 103 and 108, so I guess maybe there were five people between us. Uh, four. Um, but then the two people next to me were no-shows, and so Joanna just moved over during Act 2. Um, Rent was really good, Joanna hadn't seen it, um, but it, it was, uh, all the, the actors were wonderful, and, um, Angel and Collins were really wonderful. I think I liked them better, uh, in the play than in the movie. Um, yeah, it just kind of, I don't know, kind of resonated with me this time around. I, the first time I saw it was years and years ago. Um, I mean, a while ago. <laughs> um, yeah, but it was really, really good. So Joe and I are going to watch the movie together sometime. Um, yeah, it's just kind of, it's, it's sad, but it's kind of inspiring. And um, yeah, so I really enjoyed that. Uh, and I, I mean, I, I love plays. Always. So, um, you know, I had this fantastic question to ask you guys. Oh, you probably saw maybe on Facebook, or I think I, I, I texted you as well, my enormous caramel apple. That was nine dollars <laughs> for that caramel apple. And it wasn't even that good. It was a Butterfinger caramel apple. Um, and the apple was, eh, okay. And the Butterfinger around it was, it wasn't actually that hard to eat because it wasn't, it wasn't cold which was disappointing. So like the caramel and the white chocolate, they were just kind of soft and mushy, which made it easy to eat, but kind of, I don't know, I was expecting like hard caramel. Um, so not worth the nine dollars, but maybe you know, th there's a good picture there. So um, yeah, I also bought a hat. I spent so much money in Seattle yesterday, money that I don't have. I had the twenty dollars for the ticket um, from weeding. But now I owe Joanna $40 for that hat and the caramel apple. And then we spent $10 on Turkish Delight. Because I just, we went to the Turkish Delight place. And I just, you know, wanted a couple flavors. And so I'm like, oh, strawberry and raspberry and pomegranate and lemon. And then she, like, put them all in this little thing. And it was $10. It was just, like, one layer and a little, little thing. Our lunch was really cheap. It was pizza, and it was like three dollars a slice. So and it was really it was like Kalamata olives and um, basil and feta and sun dried tomatoes. And it was really really good. So um, yeah, fun day in Seattle. We went to the old curiosity shop and saw the shrunken heads and saw this machine made. In, I think it was the 1800s. It might have been like the late uh, 1700s. Um, but it was like all clockwork and you put a quarter in and then you you see on one side there was a cave where a guy just he, he kind of beat this other guy to death and it was all bloody and, and handmade dolls and stuff and then the other side was like a skeleton and this guy like oh it's a skeleton I and mean, it only lasted for like a minute but yeah fun day 
Um, Joanna and I are almost done with Supernatural. We have an episode and a half left because dinner came at an unfortunate time. We had to end in the middle of an episode. Um, yeah. I haven't watched Teen Wolf in a little while. Um, I should, I should probably go. Uh, but things are going well here. I guess I didn't really have an agenda with this video. No, I had a brilliant question I was going to ask you guys. Mm, I may never think of it. Um, okay. Hope you guys are, I was going to say staying cool. I'm sure it's very warm in Las Vegas. Uh, it's pretty warm here. Uh, you probably have air conditioning in Las Vegas, so that's nice. Um, but we don't. It's probably not that warm in Alaska, so, um, yeah. Alright then. Um, have good rest of your Fridays and weekends, and I will talk to you guys later. Okay, bye!